Hi, I'm Frank Guyton, Artistic Director for Black Opal Cosmetics. Please join me as I take you through a short journey on how to create a beautiful foundation to start your makeup. Start at the inner corner of the eye, go all the way across the bottom of the lash line. This is a little trick. Bring the concealer all the way back to the temple and to the top of the cheekbone. It opens up the entire face and blend out. By pressing in the concealer with your fingers, it helps warm up the concealer, which pushes it into the skin and melts it so it becomes one with your skin. A lot of women just take the concealer and brush underneath the eye here, from here to here. But by going from the inner corner all the way to the temple, it gives the dimension to the face that you need. Some women have deep set eyes or it's a lot more darker in these areas. So you wanna bring light into this area of the face. The next step is to contour the cheek area. Depending on the shape of your face, sometimes you don't have the cheekbones that you want, but with contour, taking two shades darker than your actual skin tone will help you create the bones in your face that you want. You wanna start at the back of the face, by the ear, and just bring the color forward. And you're basically creating the structure that you like. The last step of the process is to blend all of this together with your actual skin tone. You wanna get underneath the jawline and onto the neck because you wanna bring the color up onto the face so everything is matching. Remember to blend. Okay ladies, the last step in this process is setting the look. And you're gonna do that with using the Invisible Oil Blocking Powder by Black Opal. And in circular motions, you want to apply the powder everywhere that you have applied the liquid or cream that you've chosen to use. And this is how you create a flawless look with the True Color Foundation with Black Opal. Now that we've completed the conceal, even, and set, I'm gonna show you how to take this into a daytime look by addressing the eyes and the lips. To create a daytime eye, the first step that you want to do is to use a crease color. Use a darker brown to accentuate the crease. Apply the crease color right into the crease and blend upwards. The second step is to use a softer color on the lid. The last step is to apply a light shimmer underneath the brow bone. It helps to accentuate the shape of the brow and opens up the eyes. You wanna use monochromatic colors. That way it's not harsh and it's soft, but yet the eyes are already dressed. Finish the look by applying mascara. Start with one coat. At the base of the lash line, wiggle and pull the wand. What's great about mascara is that you can turn it horizontal or vertical, sweeping it across the lash line. You don't want clumpy lashes, so make sure you separate them. But the key is to get the majority of the mascara at the base. This creates a liner look effect. So you don't always have to use liner in the daytime which creates a softer looking eye. Now, let's take care of those lips. 
For daytime lip, you want to line it with a medium brown color. Something very close to your actual lip color. This is a look that I call contour. You want to rim the lip, but also come in on the inner corner of the top lip and the inner corner of the bottom lip. This creates a more of a dimensional look and shape of the lip. A great color to use are soft colors. So for Elsa, we're going to use a soft pink. What you want to do is just take your fingers or the brush and blend the color into the lip liner. And there you go, your daytime look. Thank you.